best advice, hands down, is never give up. I've competed and trained with and against some of the best athletes on the planet. Some people that you'd never even know their name that should easily have beaten me. And the reason they didn't is because as soon as they got to a hurdle, they give up because something went wrong. They got injured, they weren't prepared to fight through. If you do the sport because you love it, and you're prepared to fight through any hurdle that's put in front of you, you'll succeed. That was the difference between me and a lot of people that I knew back in the days was, I wouldn't give up. Simple as that. Hi, this is Classic Athletics, bringing you a video on British decathlete Dee Macy, Commonwealth Champion, World Championship Medalist, Olympian and valued member of Team Great Britain. He was a multifaceted, hard-working athlete with his own unique style of training. If you type his name in on YouTube, you will see mainly fishing videos. However, I knew him first back in the late 90s as a talented athlete. He was a joy to watch and I remember looking forward to his interviews. Unfortunately, he struggled with injury throughout his career, sustaining back, groin, Achilles, right knee, left foot, hamstring and elbow injuries. He had an eye-watering seven surgical operations. Affectionately nicknamed the Dean Machine, Sebastian Coe called him a true legend. He said that he would have achieved much more in his career had his body been as strong as his mind. He managed to have a decade-long athletic career before moving on. If you want to know more about Dean Macy, stay tuned. Dean Macy was born in 1977 in Canvey Island, in Essex. Growing up, he described himself as a natural athlete with ability in throwing, running and jumping sports. He was also pretty good at football and was on the books for Arsenal junior team. He competed in local district events and had a PE teacher who would give him £3 for a gold medal, £2 for a silver medal and £1 for a bronze. So naturally he started to pick up medals. His broad skill did not go unnoticed and he was eventually advised to start doing the combined event. In 1994 he broke the English school's record and a year later was victorious in the senior decathlon. In 1996 he got second place in the junior world championship with a score of 7,480. He said that it was this event that inspired him to take up athletics professionally. He made his debut in adult international athletics in 1999 at the World Championship. At the age of 21, he made a big impression. He had great performances in the 100 meters and 400 meters. Yes, at long last, Macy got a good start. So did Borners and Jensen. Macy clearly in front though of Borners and Jensen. And this has been a very impressive performance by the Brit. Borners closes late, 10.69. He won a silver medal with a personal best of 8,556 points, just ahead of American Chris Huffins. At his first Olympic Games in the year 2000, he improved his personal best to 8,567, getting a personal best in the single events 400 meters and the long jump. He missed out on a medal by 74 points just behind Chris Huffins this time. Even though he was so early in his career, he had already started to have injuries. At the 2001 World Championships, he won the bronze medal with a score of 8,603, just behind Erki Newell of Estonia. Unfortunately, he was forced to pull out of the 2002 Commonwealth Games due to injuries. At the 2004 Olympics, Macy took to the world stage again after a long time away from competition. He did well on the first day, as usual, but he did not perform as well as he would have liked in his least favourite event, the javelin. He again finished in 4th place at the Olympics, just behind Dmitry Karpov of Kazakhstan. In an interview about the 2004 Olympics, Dean Macy described the event as extreme. He had been nursing several injuries, both days were 14 hours each. After the first day of competition, he was standing in an ice bath until 1 in the morning and only had 2 hours sleep before he was warming up at quarter to 6 for the second day. At the 2006 Commonwealth Games, Dean Macy performed well on the first day, however on the second day, Jason Dudley of Australia was catching him up. After a great performance in the 1500 meters, he clinched a gold medal with a final score of 8,143 points. He had hoped to carry on in competition, especially after finding out that Britain would host the 2012 Games. Unfortunately, his injuries meant that he did not qualify for the 2008 Games. 
So he decided to retire from athletics at the age of 31. He said, most people slow down when they feel pain. I dismiss the pain and push so much harder. That's why I get hurt so much. My heart is there, my mind is there, but my body has finally given in. Dean Macy has said several times that he was mainly in competition with himself, but he was happier achieving a personal best than winning medals. He represents true grit, self-belief and determination and love of the sport. He also seemed to genuinely like the process of training, even in bad weather. He would push through pain and work harder, which sometimes caused harm to his body. When I look at some of the event footage, you can see him limping about in the background. I honestly think that had he been lucky enough to not be injured, I think he would have won many more titles as the ability was definitely there and he has pretty much said so himself. I honestly do not believe there's, there's a more talented decathlete in the world. I, I think I'm as talented as any, any other human being on God's earth, but at the same token, I, I'm reasonably unlucky. After retiring from athletics, in 2009, Dean Macy tried his hand at bobsleighing with fellow British athlete Jason Gardner. They did quite well together and managed to do well at the British Bobsleigh Championships considering they were quite new to the sport. Tear this course apart, bit by bit, come on! As mentioned before, big lively personality, cheeky grin and matter of fact speaking style endeared him to many, making him a media favourite. I recall during one major event, I can't remember which one, but when asked what his approach would be to the javelin, he said, I'm just going to give it a bit of welly and whack it with the arm. Which I thought was quite funny, because most athletes would delve into precise technical detail. In 1999, he was the winner of the BBC Sports Personality of the Year. He had done commentating for Radio 5, Al Jazeera Sports, Channel 4 and the Eurosport. He also does motivational speaking, sports journalism and is involved in encouraging youth sports. Throughout his career, he has been a keen angler, even whilst performing. He had his own brand of fishing equipment and released a DVD a few years back called Horse Fishing Guide to Great Britain. He has been the presenter of ITV Fishing All Stars and Big Fish Off. And as you can see, he has several videos on YouTube. He does consulting in both fishing and athletics, so he has one foot at the track and one by the lake. He has also made television celebrity appearances on Celebrity Masterchef and Celebrity Mastermind. He is active on social media. Follow him on Instagram at dmacy10 and on Twitter at dmacy. So this concludes my video on the multi-talented British athlete Dean Macy. Who knows what more he has up his sleeve in the future. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe.